Acer fans, 9 top tips for better maples and don't miss the firecracker right at the end. If you haven't got one of these weepers, get one. They're just really nice but different. So this looks like a, an ordinary palmatum, which it kind of is in terms of leaf structure. But if we just go, go wide on that, we'll see what's happened here. So this is Ryusen. And again, it's been staked up. I'll just go a bit closer. And up and up and up and up. So that's the original grafting point right on the top. And then from there, it's doing the Ryusen thing of just weeping. So I do find interested in nature that, that some facets like smaller, larger plants, trees, weeping, non-weeping, serrated edges, they're all things these trees can do. And if you look at that, that's just superb, if I say so myself. I'm just so pleased the way that cascades down. And the colour from the sun has just given it character, really. It's not the autumn colours yet, because you see some of it's still quite green, but quite clearly it just just likes where it is and has developed this uh, lovely coloration so really happy with that one. so i do pride myself on this channel that trying to show people the reality i definitely don't get it right all the time and i think in a sense this katsura you know is isn't as nice or as good as i'd like it and the reason is it's it's in a bit too much sun really so as you can see, this side here, which is more sheltered and gets more shade from this fellow next to it, you know, not too bad. And, and some of the leaves are still okay. But on this side, where we've got more sun exposure and, and wind exposure and all the rest of it, kind of suffered. And I think there's a lesson there, actually, because as we go through this, um, the, the, the ones that are already sort of slightly sun damaged or wind damaged, will tend to sort of turn and do the autumn colour thing earlier and, and that's that's the case here but the reason I'm, I'm sort of doing this 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 video in part is to sort of maybe move this ready for next year or at least keep a record of it so I can plan to change the location of this this fella because I think if we can give it a bit more TLC it'll last better throughout the season classic red maple Sangukaku, well, red stem maple, should I say. And the bark is just amazing. The sun tolerance is definitely there. I mean, it, it's not the case that every single leaf is going to be perfection on some of these trees. And I think the giveaway actually is that where you've got an outlier here, which is growing really quite nicely, but as you can see, there's a little bit of wind it's blowing around a lot that that wind action as i said before will take an effect but loves the sun it turns quite golden this isn't its four colors really this is just the way they this is what happens to sangukaku as as the, the the year progresses so really nice tree and as things go yellow yellow just makes things stand out i think so it's always really good in the garden to, to have that kind of uh, coloration. So here we have Cripsy. And he's he's done better this year, actually. It's, it's a little sort of, almost like a dwarf. I mean, it's hardly grown that much at all in the sort of three odd years I've had him. And it's a bit like Shishi Kashira, but the leaves are clearly not curled over so much. It does remind me that they form little little clumps, really. But this can happen. Uh, I mean, actually, I'll just zoom in here. This little branch here is just full of little nodules ready to glow, grow more petioles and leaves, which, which is just lovely. Sometimes this happens. You, you put a plant in a pot, it doesn't do much for a year or two. It gets its root system down, gets embedded. You put it perhaps in the right place and it does really, really well. So. A nice little, rather different, rather cute little plant, really. So, a nice, a good year for Cripsy. So this is Acer Dissectum filigree. And I was recently um, looking at a forum, actually, discussing whether this 
was in fact another name for Siriu, which is a classic sort of upright dissector maple. And just to end that debate, that's a leaf from Siriu. So while they are somewhat similar, they are definitely not the same. So this happens sometimes with maples, there's a debate of whether it's a generally new cultivar or not. I would say this definitely is. The, the bark's a bit different actually, it's more yellow. The early on in its growth, it was straight up and it sort of kept going a bit, but that isn't its real natural growth habit. It's been made to be taller. Nothing wrong with that at all. And I think it's all the better for it, really. It's a nice sort of structure. But uh, done really well. Afternoon, shade, full sun in the morning. But happy to leave that one in position, really. And talk height-wise, yeah, quite nice. Going to start from the top here, actually, on this little fella. Look at that. Just lovely, lovely, lovely new growth. Little red petioles. Curled over leaves. For the viewers of the channel, you might know this one of my little favourites, Okashimo. Really underrated, very old cultivar. How's, how's, how's she done this year? Fantastic. Lots, lots of new growth. They're really pleased actually. Nice red stem. Been in sort of, yeah, exposed this position and guess the morning sun, afternoon shade, sort of great scenario, but that's growing superbly well and will continue to do so. So this is a relatively new tree to me and to give you an idea, that's the sort of height of my belly button sort of thing really. So I'm, I'm guessing at least three and a half feet, something like that, getting on. Here we have by who, which as you can see from the lower leaves is fine. It's lovely sort of pinky salmon pinky stem at the moment which should turn more yellow as we go through into the autumn and winter but again being honest you can see here we've got some burning going on so is that direct sun mm, to a degree but also it's a little bit more exposed to wind that's going to move around like that and sort of dry itself out really so always a combination I feel of wind and sun really and then as a, as a quick you know learning that's what we're here for isn't it you know ha that is dieback from last year so in a sense when you get dieback it encourages growth in different directions you know the other two have actually taken over from that leader so it's not always a bad thing in a, in a, in a strange way because it can promote sort of a more bushy outlook to to a plant. So you're sort of cutting it out or trimming it manually, which I suppose you could do. But one to, to keep an eye on. And again, for next year, if I want to keep the coloration and the tree a little bit better into the later into the season, that, that needs to be moved. So Mikawa Yatsubusa, massive favorite. And these are slow growing. So my, my favourite chap in, in Derbyshire in the UK, um, told me this probably is five years old and, and very small. And if you've got a really big one of these, they, they can change hands for big money apparently. But just a sort of really dense, slow growing, beautiful little tree. Some burning at the ends here. I suspect that's because I've over potted it slightly. I'm not going to touch it at this point because it will it's all closed down for for winter at this at the, in, in this way. But when I look through some of the leaves and even some of the inner ones are a little bit brown on the tips. It's, it's okay. I'm not not worried about it. But uh, a little less than there. I'm not sure I'll down pot it yet or just leave it to kind of grow into the pot in, in the spring next year really. But uh, a lovely lovely little tree. Um, there's, there's quite a few varieties, particularly in the US of these. Or variants on it and uh, understandably very very collectible. Super tree, firecracker and if you compare this to Crimson Queen a lot redder so I think firecracker kind of is a little cracker. 
pardon the dad jokes. But looking at it, it's just starting to sort of have a little bit of fall colour, so it's actually deepening now. It's really hard to find a leaf that isn't quite red. I mean, there is a little bit of green, but overall, I think because of its very open structure, the light's got to virtually all of it. And even at the back has retained fantastic colour. So a lovely tree. Don't see them that often, but really, really glad I bought it. And again, the longer you keep these, the more they turn into this lovely sort of dome shape and take up space. So I think once more, it's in a happy place. So, so why change that?